All right, guys, so what's going on? We are back with a tutorial. Um, Luis Sanchez Films here, and we wanted to, on this tutorial, just like I've been promising, show you guys how I color graded um, this music video. I have three clips in front of you. Um, they were both shot at an S-Log um, 2 on the Sony a7 III, which is what I'm actually recording on right now. Now, what I the profile that I am recording on now is not a S-Log. This is a uh, picture profile one. I think it's a Cine 4 um, because I didn't want to have to show you guys how to color grade this plus then go into and color grade the actual footage. Yeah, let's go ahead and dive right in. So right now we have in front of us uh, three clips and it's basically the same clip, but I just kind of chopped it off into parts that I would like to utilize um, But if you see in front of you, this is filmed at an S-Log 2 at 24 frames per second now the tools that I utilize to Grade all of my videos are two tools and I might use them repetitive repetitive not repetitive repetitive um, together and there has to be a sequence that follows it like you can't have two of the same app or uh, uh, plugins and then two of the same plugins the first one that i utilize is colorista if you don't have that already um you can you know purchase that app i or plugin i purchased this plugin let's go ahead and do it on all of them oh no we'll do it like this so i purchased this plugin for about 200 dollars and I got it from Red Giant. Now what this plugin does is it allows you to kind of uh, contrast, right? It contrasts your, your image, your video, whatever that you're trying to edit. And another window that I always try to have is this bad boy. This right here is gonna be called the Lumetri Scopes. Now what these Lumetri Scopes are is a, kind of like a guide, like a cheat sheet to show you, hey, if you go too far past zero, your darks, your blacks, all of these dark colors, your shadows are going to be completely without detail. You're going to, you're going to crush those colors and that's not going to have any detail. Now on the reverse side of it, if you go way past a hundred, you're going to blow out those whites and those light colors and you're not going to have any detail in your, mainly in your like uh, skies or if you have a t-shirt, a white t-shirt or a white jacket or anything like that, it's just going to be like blank. So um, this is normally the only tool that I use whenever I am editing. Everything else I kind of go by eye and what kind of feels right to me. Um, a lot of people will tell you to utilize um, the... Not that bad boy. So a lot of people will tell you to utilize this one right here. It's the vector scope U or uh, vector scope YUV. And now what this normally does is it, it you got to kind of keep all your colors in the center. If you go too far, too far out into yellow, your image will look too yellowish, etc. and so on and so forth with all the other colors. But I personally don't use that because I already have an eye for that. Um, now, if you don't, um, and you feel like you do need that, that can be another guide for you. But this Lumetri scope is basically the only tool that I use. Now, let's go ahead and jump into it. I don't want to talk too much on this tutorial. I want to just show you guys how I color grade this. Um, so the first thing, first thing that I do is I throw the colorista on there and I go straight to my shadows. I pull that shadow down, almost touching zero. I try not to hit zero because once I hit zero, there could be another part in that video where maybe the shadows or the dark colors are a little bit too dark. And if you bring it down all the way to zero, it might crush those colors. So I try to bring it as closely as possible to that zero mark, but I don't bring it all the way to it. Then I go to my highlights and I bring those highlights as far up as I can right before they hit. Or I also look at my image and see, hey, you know, maybe a 90 is okay. Maybe I don't have to go 100%. Never go directly to 100, never go directly to zero. So I try to keep it right there. That's basically all I do with this plugin Colorista. Colorista, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Colorista. And then the next thing that I do is I jump into uh, video effects. I go into color correction. Now, again, for, a, for any of you guys that don't know what I am utilizing to uh, edit my videos. I utilize Premiere Pro 2020. Um, I have a subscription with with Adobe. Uh, I pay $52 a month and I get 
all of their plugins. So you're talking about Photoshop, uh, Lumetri, Lumetri, Lightroom, uh, Premiere Pro, uh, so on and so forth. There's a whole bunch, um, Adobe Illustrator, but um, I utilize Premiere Pro. So Lumetri Color, you wanna utilize that as your second uh, plugin. And what I normally like to do is sometimes I'll jump into this, sometimes I won't even touch this. But for instance, let's say that this image, this video, I shot it and it looked way too blue. I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna correct that? So what you do is you wanna go into your temperature on Lumetri Color. Once you have that on there, you can correct if it's too, if you shot it, like for instance, right there, let's say that I, I went too yellow on it and I wanted to correct that. Well, all I have to do is go towards the opposite side. Or if I shot it too blue and you shot it and it came out of camera like that, all you gotta do is go to the other side and you even it all out. But as you can see, I always try to keep my film, whatever I do uh, record, I try to keep it as much balanced in camera so that I'm not having to do so much work in post. Right off the bat, what I try to do is I'll go to my saturation and I will try to saturate it as much as I can, right? So we'll go ahead and saturate it and that'll just start bringing some of the colors right back in. You see how in the background, right back here, you see how those yellows are starting to come up and the greens are starting to come up, etc. cetera. Um, and I'll try to make it as, as I guess as great as it may look to me. Um, I did, however, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did, however, take the temperature on this and I boosted it a little bit more towards the yellow just to give it like a warm feel. You see how it's, you know, starting to bring some of the yellows in and it just makes it feel a little bit warmer and cinematic. Um, and then what I do is I go into my creative and I utilize my vibrance. I will push those vibrant colors so those vibrance can start popping and those colors can just kind of like just jump out at you. Um, so I touch the vibrance and what that does again is just vibrating all those colors out and just making them pop. Um, and then I will jump to my curves. On my curves, I will bring those darks a little bit more. So remember how in, Luma, or in the uh, Colorista, I was kind of touching on those shadows and I brought some of them down and I brought some of the highlights up. So here with the curves, curves, it just, I feel like it just really pops, you know, your contrast. So what you do is you bring that dark down and you see how it's making it a little bit more cinematic, you know, bring those shadows down. Not too much, you don't wanna darken it too much and then pop those whites. You see how it's starting to really, really become just a complete different um, picture. Uh, and you can keep playing with those colors if you wanna, you know, make it a little bit darker, however you feel is best for you. Um, and that's literally, you might not believe me, but that's literally probably all I do um, to color grade, right? And then I jump into, um, and I pop a LUT on there, right? So these LUTs right now that I'm gonna show you guys, I got them from um, Peter McKinnon. And these are the Cinepack One. You can go to his website. I'm not sure if they're still available on there, but I got these uh, from him. I've gotten a lot more um, LUTs from other creators, but on this specific um, shot, I got and I went and I used the Kodak Killer. Boom, threw that on there. See how it just really like uh, starting to pull those colors and really do some nice uh, adjusting on there. So what I'll do is um, I'll probably like bring the mids down a little bit more and we can keep going. And then I will work on my, um, I'll go right back to my basic correction and I will maybe throw in a little bit more of exposure just to kind of pop and then a little bit more contrast, a little bit, not too much. I mean, you know what? Let's leave the contrast off on there. And then we'll go back to the curves and we'll start pushing those curves. 
maybe bringing the you know the brights back up a little bit more and maybe even bringing the the darks a little bit lower so on and so forth you just keep you know pushing around with all these colors and just start working with them and this is literally the only two things that i do now in some occasions i will you know work on uh, and throw another colorista on there or another Lumetri uh, color on there. But right now we're not gonna do that. What we're going to do is we're gonna go into, um, into my hard drive. And in here I created some, let's go into music videos and I created some cinematic 4K bars. Now we'll take those cinematic bars and we'll place them all across the entire clip and see how that just brought everything together. So we'll go ahead and play that clip. Boom, it completely changed. So what we can do is we'll take that and we'll copy and we'll paste attributes. We don't want warp, so warp's not on there. Uh, we'll go ahead and just hit OK, and that will go ahead and transfer to all your other clips. And boom. So see how here it just seems a little bit, you know, brighter. What we can do is we'll open up our effects for that specific clip, and we'll jump in there, and maybe we'll bring our shadows down a little bit more. And almost at zero, but not completely at zero. And then we'll bring, we'll jump into your blacks. You can actually push them a little bit fur further up and look at what it does. It just begins to like soften it and, it and it gives it like that faded look. See how it starts fading it? So does that for that. Um, we won't put too much on it, but we can put a little bit on there. Um, and then we'll go back to our color curves and just continue working on that man and just figuring out and just feeling out what feels best and that right there seems like it's good to me look at that it just it makes it look cinematic we'll play that So there you go, guys. That is how I color grade um, my videos. And if you did like this video or if you have any comments, any questions that you would like to ask me, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you would like our next tutorial to be about, um, whether it be, you know, the lenses that I use, how to get your camera set up uh, and be ready for filming, um, so on and so forth. Right now, as you can see right back there, guys, those are two young Nuos um rgbs i'll leave that down below so if you guys want to purchase lights like that i'll leave that down below and right in front of me that you see the yellow light beaming at me is a quasar um quasar science um that you can purchase now you can either i i, I have a dimmer for it it's these this little thing right here and this dimmer allows you to you know make sure that your lighting is not way too like high because you will blow out your image. So boom, you see how that blows that out? Or you can dim it down and make it more like natural lighting. And I like to leave it very, very low just to give me that natural lighting. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, again, leave the comment down below. I'll leave a description of all the equipment that I utilize right down below so you guys can go if you would like to purchase them. I will let you know, guys, that if you do purchase them, you will help this channel out. If you decide to purchase any product and you purchase it on the links that I leave down below, I do receive uh, um, benefits from that. So uh, that definitely helps out my channel. I will only want to continue to grow from here on forward. So if you guys like the video, comment down below, like, share, and all of that. Share it with your friends so that they can subscribe also. Uh, for right now, that's all I have. Take care, guys. Thank you so much.